Hello, ladies and lads. This is Civic Dude, and welcome back to Hypercraft. This is my uh, vanilla series on the Hypermind vanilla server called Hypercraft. And I think we're on episode, uh, I don't know, two or three, probably four, actually, by now. And uh, we've got a couple things to do today. Um, we are basically setting up a automatic pumpkin and melon farm today. So we're moving away from just this manual process that we have right here where we just have the one and uh, it doesn't really produce that much because I have to come here and manually cut down and let the stuff grow again. So we're going to make an automatic version um, of that. And uh, at the same time, we're also going to look at a little design stuff that we've done right here. So I've got my nether portal and uh, made a little tower out of it. I think it kind of looks cool with the glowstone blocks. Um, and then I also have nether brick here and then regular stone slabs here to kind of complement those um, nether brick and then I'm going to make a room down here for probably the enchanting room something like that um, what do you guys think about this I kind of like the the contrast of the dark and the light uh, colors here I think it looks pretty cool I've got some water kind of flowing out of the side over here um, it's a little noisy when you get up to it you can kind of hear it now so it's a little noisy um, so I might consider actually um, taking the the uh, portal down to just a uh, basically a one portal that we can have an automatic on-off switch, kind of like uh, Armitage has. So he's got a thing where you can basically kill the portal with a uh, bucket of lava and a dispenser, and you can start it back up with a um, dispenser and um, how is it called the stuff that lights the things on fire. Um, flint and steel, yes. <laughs> That's the ones. Uh, oh, there's Midnight Designer. Hiya, Midnight. There we go. So, here is the storage, or not storage, the food production place for melon and pumpkins. Uh, this is a design that I originally got from Monkey Farm, so I'm gonna include his uh, original video that I saw for this, and basically, a piston is in the middle, and it's a smart piston, so whenever a pumpkin or a melon grows on one of these four blocks, um, the actually there's four pistons, all four pistons will go down, break the pumpkin, thereby allowing the slices to go into these hoppers uh, all around here uh, with minimal loss. So I have another one over here set up that we're going to have uh, for pumpkins. So pumpkins on the left, melons on the right. So I figured I could let you guys uh, kind of join along. For this one, uh, we have hoppers underneath all of these repeaters. So there's a, a hopper underneath uh, every single surrounding block from this little square. And what we need to do now, let me see if I can remember how to do this because it's been a been a little while. Um, I'm going to need some redstone dust eventually. But let's go ahead and just get started, I guess. Do, do full inventory. Goodness. That's just crazy. Okay, so we got to let's get rid of. Oh, there it goes. Like that, I believe. Am I right there? Nope, I'm wrong. So let's bring that up one more. And then on it, like that. And then the same thing over here. Except that we're going to do like that just like so. So what this does is basically uh, whenever there's a something right here it powers, gets power from this repeater which sends power into this one, turns the torch off which will then tell the ones upstairs to fire the pistons is the long and short of it and there goes my repeater. There we go. Get that repeater back. Just like that. Now, let us break that block. And uh, just like that. Oh, no. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay, now, let's see. Need two more on top. No, not there. Come on now. Come on. Let's try it again. Come on. There we go. Got one. I hear a zombie. <laughs> I 
There we go. We'll do it like that. Zombie? What are you doing here? Go away. Are you kidding me? There's another one? Be gone. There. Okay. So let's get rid of those. And just like that. Now we'll get rid of that guy. This one should be easier. Just like that. And then the same thing here. Okay. Now. Got a pillar. Oh, actually, let's do it from the middle. Pillar up. And then. I think we'll just do it like that. Alright. Yep. Okay. Uh, where are my pistons? Okay. I'm telling you guys, I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> I'm getting nervous on camera. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, let's do that. That. Uh, and, oh, not there. Goodness. There we go. Just like that. And then we're going to put a piece of glowstone here, so we might as well do that now. And then like that. All the way around, because we're going to put uh, redstone dust on all of these blocks to send the, the signal around. But we have to break out a couple blocks here. Gotta love efficiency tools. Really awesome stuff. Like that. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now let's go get some more redstone material. And I'll be right back. Okay, so... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. God, what a fail. <laughs> uh, come on, repeater. There you are. That was an epic fail, everyone. So, let's just put this little dude back right there. Like that. That's... Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, now let's get back on top here. Emergency mute. Okay, so we're gonna jump up to the, no, not right there. <laughs> we'll jump up right over here because that makes more sense. And put some torches here, 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 and here. And why is that? Why is this torch doing like this? Mm. That one's not. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I apparently thought something was wrong. Okay, now we just fill it up with dust, like so. Beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. Now, where did I put the water over here? I want to say it's... Oh, look. So every now and then you'll get a, a melon slice. You can kind of see it right there that lands right in the middle. Um, those, unfortunately, are going to be lost. But uh, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. It's not the most efficient farm ever, but it is a fairly good farm, and it does its job, so I'm happy with that. So what we're going to do here is, oh, there you go, you heard it. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? There we go. Okay. So now, whenever we put a block right here, we're going to have pistons go. Watch this. See? Just like that. 
So, now let us close this thing up. Make sure we do it just like the other one, because I like uniformity. Yes, okay. So we'll close it up. Like that. All the way around. Make sure that we can do this. Like that. Man, this looks good. Looks real good. Okay. And there. Is that how it goes? Oh, it's just all of this. That. And this takes a lot of slaps, guys. So, um, is this going to, I think it's going to fire the pistons. Yep. Wow, that was fun. Boom. There we go, like that. And another one there. So what do you guys think about uh, the new Hyper Mine, the modded server? Um, we just started playing it again on the new map, and uh, it's been a ton of fun so far. So many more mods than I remember. Um, just whole different chains of mods, all completely new. Um, can't even wrap my head around it most of the time. There we go, just like that. And lastly, cannot forget to plant the... Nope, not the melon. Gotta plant a pumpkin. Let's go grab a pumpkin seed and we'll be right back. Okay, so let's till the soil and plant the melon, or the pumpkin. Pumpkin? Yes, pumpkin. There we go. Beautiful. So now let's clear out this inventory, if we can, if we have enough space. Do we have enough space? Yeah, we can get rid of that. Beautiful. So now, all we have to do is close it up. Like so. Uh, did I put them all the way around? I cannot remember. I don't think so. Like that. Boom. Wow, that looks good. We've got to put a little thing right here, but we can do that in a little bit. Yeah, that's awesome, guys. So that's going to start making pumpkins. And uh, when it does, they're going to funnel into this chest right here. You can see I've got the melon one already set up. It's uh, been running for a little while now, and it does take a while but it only um, works off of one basically one plant so um, that's kind of to be expected but it's definitely um, you know producing some some uh, results so I'm excited happy with that um, I need to set up some more farms like uh, you know sugar cane and uh, wheat and stuff like that but uh, let me know what you think about this like I said I'm going to include a video link to uh, monkey farms original video where I got this idea from so let me know what you think about it and guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next episode Thank you.